How's it going out there? Welcome from H2 Tech Videos. Today I want to show you how to uh, access iCloud from your Mac. And there's two ways to do it. The first way here is uh, you would go to the website www.icloud.com and you're going to log into your account. Okay. And from, from the website, you'll be able to access all of your iCloud files. Um, well, almost everything. What I've noticed is you, you don't really have access to your photo stream on the website, but you do have access to your mail, your contacts, your calendar, uh, Find My iPhone, and your iWork stuff if you have that set up. Cool thing is if you go into calendar, you'll actually be able to, um, you know, make modifications to your calendar or just if you just need to see um, what your appointments are or whatever, you'll actually have full control um, from the website and you'll be able to go through uh, the different days and you can add things and um, uh, just a lot of functionality okay so I'm gonna go click on the little cloud here to go back to the main uh, iCloud screen we have access to our contacts and let me tell you why this is important um, there was a day a couple years ago where I actually um, someone stole my iPhone and I actually needed a contact out of my contact book and so uh, luckily, I actually had what's called Mobile Me at the time. Mobile Me is what came before iCloud, and so I was able to log in on the website, um, and I was able to actually pull up my contacts. So you will always have access to your contacts as soon as you input a contact into your contacts on your phone or iPad or iPod Touch. As long as you have an internet connection, it will sync online and um, by you having iCloud set up it's always seeking your contacts so you don't have to worry about getting stuck um, maybe that important number you had uh, you still have access to it from the website here same thing with mail so this is kinda like the first way that you can access your iCloud from your Mac the second way is this I'm gonna minimize this here and I'm actually going to go to system preferences and now either you'll have it down here or you'll have it up here you just type in system preferences I typed it wrong and click on system preferences and then from there you will have to go to actually I actually already had it open so I'm going to close that let's do it again system preferences okay and as soon as it pops up, there's going to be an icon that says iCloud. There it is. Under Internet and Wireless, click on iCloud, and it'll actually take you here. Now, here's the thing. Your computer, your Mac, needs to be updated to the latest Lion software. If you are not running Lion, you will not be able to access your iCloud from the computer. You will have to go on the website, iCloud.com, to have access. So, this is an important note. Uh, you will need to be running the latest line software to have access. This is the second way you can access your files, and this actually lets you control what you sync on the computer. So, mail and notes, your contacts, your calendar. Uh, you can have your photo stream set up. You can also have documents synced on the computer. So, if you have iWork, which is i, which is pages, numbers, and Keynote, if you have those set up on your Mac on your iPhone or iPad and you're working on a document it'll sync on all the devices and every time you make changes they will uh, sync all together okay so um, this is the second way you can access iCloud um, and this is again where you really control what is synced on the computer okay and so as long as you have it checked then those options will be synced up for example with the mail app you have a contacts app on the computer. You also your iCal will be synced up with your calendar on your iOS device, iPhone or iPad. Your bookmarks in Safari you can also have those synced, so you have the same settings on each uh, device. And then your photo stream, which allows you to have a photo taken in one place synced onto another. So this is kind of uh, in a nutshell how you access iCloud from your Mac. Uh, either online, iCloud.com, or you're going to go on System Preferences and have the control in this option or area right here. Okay? So, hope that was helpful. Um, subscribe to HT Tech Videos. Keep watching and have a good